You got two types of people. You got the Jamison Williams lovers and you got the Jamison Williams quote unquote haters. And I'm neither. I'm in the middle. I am a Jamison Williams realist. I want to see the best from the young man. I want to see him do what we drafted him to do. I, that's what I want to see. I want him catch. See, I want to see him catch the football. That's what he did today. He did it in between a catch and a drop, but he did it over the shoulder. What a catch, man! What a catch! We talked about trust, and today the Tampa Bay Buccaneers blitz more than anybody in National Fifty National Football League fifty three percent of the time, and they were leaning into Jared Goff. Jared Goff threw that thing up. Jamison Williams adjusted, ran left, ran right, looked over the shoulder, caught it all body, fail completed the catch, that's what the 12th overall pick can do. 100%. Now we just got to see consistency. And sandwiched in between a catch and that pad, that catch was a drop, a drop that he could have caught, right? Now I don't like being critical and being saying something bad and saying what he can't do and what he didn't do. But that is the stuff that we see with Jamison Williams, inconsistency. Now hit both of his touchdown passes were 40 yards plus. Both of them. And that's why we keep them. That's why we keep wanting to see him pop off. Now, I'm not going to take anything back I said. I'm not going to all of a sudden be on the bandwagon. He needs to perform on a consistent level, point blank, period. This is why those are the flashes as to why we don't want or Brad Holmes doesn't want him to let him go. Jamison Williams has showed flashes. Now it's time to turn the lights all the way up. Become a target that Jared Goff can trust in in a game like today when the defense has to play zone because they don't have the personnel to man up with Chris Godwin and Mike Evans on the offensive side of the ball where you're down two of your running backs that you are against a stout run defense with a practice squad running back shout out to Craig Reynolds not I'm not taking anything away from him and Divine Ozigbo who was smartly called up from the practice squad today you need that type. You have to have receivers that you could trust. And you could see early on that the trust might not have been there. But it was very hard to run a play for Jamison Williams because of the pressure that Jared Goff was under. You had to, Goff had to go where he could rely. He had to go to uh, Amon Ross St. Brown. He had to go to Sam Laporta, who had a drop or two. Uh, Jameer Gibbs. Uh, Josh Reynolds. Absolutely. Right? Today was the first day that Josh Reynolds caught a pass that was less than the first down. And you want to know what? It was one yard short of a first down. Every pass that he's caught this season has been for a first down or a touchdown until today. And it was one yard short to keep that streak alive. But you have to have those type of receivers that you can trust. And I'll tell you what J Jamison Williams did today. He earned more trust from Jared Goff because Jared Goff threw that thing up, admitted himself that it could have been a better ball, and Jamison Williams adjusted to catch that thing. That's how you earn the trust of your quarterback and your offensive coordinator and your coach, right? And Dan Campbell gave him some love as well. So we've been, I've been really tough. You call it tough love. That's what you can call it. If you're drafted 12th overall, you have to play like it. That's it. There's no if, ands, or buts, or anything else. You have to play like you were drafted 12th overall. Now, hopefully this is big for his confidence because we can't wait. The entire stream today, our eyes were on number nine because he needed to be a factor for us to win this game. And you know what he was? Because immediately after that catch, you could see now Tampa Bay took their foot off the gas. They had to back up a little bit because, wait a minute, because when, when, when the game first started, Jamison Williams wasn't even targeted. He was just out there. And so if you're a defense, you're like, okay, we got to respect the speed, but real talk, they're not throwing to this guy. So – let let him beat us first. Once he beat us, then we'll start paying him some, some attention. And that's exactly what happened. Jared Goff, but you could see it happening. You could see Goff starting to set it up, get a little play action. And I knew what was going on because Goff didn't have time. He didn't have time to let a play to Jamison Williams develop. He had to get that short intermediate stuff very quick because most of the time, Tampa Bay was sending an extra rusher. So he didn't give it, he didn't give it time. And even on the pass that Jamison Williams caught, the touchdown pass, he didn't have, he didn't really have time. And then the first catch from Jamison Williams, he had to come back to catch it because Jared Goff was under mad duress. And that second catch, that second pass, yeah, he should have caught it. He should have caught it. You got to make that play. But he made up for it a couple plays later with a touchdown that essentially spread this thing a lot out a little bit. Now, not only do you increase the lead from 17, from 10 to three to 17 to three. Now on your next possession, 
now Tampa Bay has to respect the fact that Jamison Williams is out there. And this is all we wanted to see from him. Now we want to see consistently consistency. You know what I said during my stream? Don't don't disappear for another year. Don't disappear for another five or six games. And yes, the coaching staff is going to have to get him in the game, get plays. But now you see that you can do that. And let's do more of it, more and more and more. Now we got a tough opponent with the Baltimore Ravens that I think we can beat. Get them more involved. And then we host the the Las Vegas Raiders on Monday Night Football in two weeks. Get them more involved. Let's keep that confidence going. It was great to see that happen today. Great to see it. That's all we want. That's all we've been asking for is to get this guy involved in the game. But when he's involved, he got And you know how you get demoted? By dropping balls or missing assignments, missing blocks. Ben Johnson said no block, no rock. Well, we know he can do that, right? We saw it last week. But how you get demoted is you start dropping passes. When the game is on the line, you know you can count on, I'm going to Ross St. Brown. This guy is an absolute stud. And I tell you what, if the Detroit Lions, if Brad Holmes does not extend St. Brown, we're going to have a serious problem on our hands. That's a guy you can count on, a guy who all he does is make plays. And maybe Jamison Williams, this is the beginning of something special with him. And we know he's always had it. We know it. We know it. We just have been waiting to see it. And today was another, I think today was the the first touchdown catch was was impressive. It's like why is he so wide open? Today was a contested contested catch that he caught literally on his back shoulder, falling down. You're talking about completing the catch. You can't complete the catch any better than that. So kudos to Jamison Williams. Way to step up. Way to get going. Now keep going. Keep going. That's what we want to see. Consistency. That's there's nothing more than I want that I want than a my team to do well. And Jamison Williams is part of my team. I want to see him succeed. And I hope that this is the start of something beautiful for Jamison Williams because he needs to be a factor for us to go the distance. He really, really does. St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, Laporta. This is a team game. Today was a team win. And Jamison Williams is going to have to be a factor if we're going to go to the distance. That's just the bottom line. They're going to have to respect that over-the-top speed that he has. And maybe next week and the week after that, maybe teams are like, well, you know what? We got to start accounting for that Jamison Williams because now they're going to use him. Now he's going to catch it. So I'm not changing anything I said. I'm going to – y'all go, y'all should know that about me. I'm not going to waver. I'm not going to change. He stepped up today. I'm going to show him some love. And he needs to keep it up. He needs to keep it up. And I think he went a long way today by earning the trust of Jared Goff, Brad Holmes – I'm sorry, Dan Campbell and Ben Johnson. We're going to see if we keep getting Jamison Williams the ball. I expect it to keep happening. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you taken your foot off the Jamison Williams? Just to be clear, you can keep, I got receipts. I've never caught him a bus. I've just been critical of him because you have to be, here it is, Brian Branch should have been taken in the first round, was not, and is an absolute stud. St. Brown, fourth round pick, outworking a first rounder. You can't have that. You cannot have that. St. Brown is making a fraction of what Jamison Williams is making. You have to show up. And today is how you show up. Let me know your thoughts down below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.